I love zebra lights. They're just mmm, chef's kiss. Mwah. And the only thing that was really holding them back was they were using an LH351D emitter, the Samsung emitter, which is really bright, but it's also got kind of a terrible tint, kind of greenish. Well, Zebra just released their new SC53CN. This is a Zebra light that comes with the new Nietzsche 519A. All right, fair warning. I'm not going to be talking about the UI or why Zebra Light is so awesome or doing any bean shots. I'm literally just talking about the release of this new light, the SC53CN, which is the first Zebra Light to have a Nietzsche 509A in it. And if you know what I just said, if Nietzsche 519A means anything to you, then you know why we're making this video. So I'm going to take a look at it on the Sekonic, and then we're going to look at the lumens output, especially compared to the old LH351D Samsung that they were using forever in their AA light, the SC5C LE. I just want to get this video out there and tell you to head off to the website and get this guy. It's about 64 bucks right now, and oh, so worth it. So take a look at this zebra light right here this is the sc5c this is a double a battery light uh that's an alkaline double a that is and it's got the lh351d emitter in it like they used to do so there you go there's that double a let's take a look at what it looks like on the Sekonic. now i got my video lights on but i'll try and blast this thing so we get a valuable reading okay there we go and blast Okay, let's see what we got. Yeah, it sounds right to me. This is actually probably a little more favorable than it should be. It's right at 4,000K, but it's about 20 points above Delta UV. And, you know, I, I actually think it's higher. The reason why it's coming in below is because my video lights are actually below Delta UV and it's mixing. But you can see the issue there. But now here comes 519A. Let's blast in there. And there you go negative 11 right out the gate so again this solves the one problem i had now one thing i do want to point out differently between the sc5c le which had the samsung in it and this is a double a light as well is that the samsung is still almost twice as bright than the nietzsche 509a so for example on turbo here or the or high two if you will it's coming in around 200 lumens if i double click to uh, high one or H1, it's about 150 lumens. So go back up. You can see it's about 180. Uh, whereas the Samsung version of the light is giving about 400, and then the H1 is about 200. So there's also a bigger difference between H1 and H2 on this light. So I guess what I'm trying to say is, if you want tint, and I definitely am a tint snob, I'm going to be carrying this SC53C all day long because it's just gorgeous and 200 lumens for a AA light is perfect for me. However, if you want maximum lumens for a AA light, and remember, a Raylite LAN Apple is about 500 lumens with a 14500 in it. This little guy with the AA alkaline is putting out similar lumens, 400, you know, versus the 500 for the LAN Apple. So, Again, I guess there's a choice now. Do you want max lumens and a little greenish, or do you want the rosy, nice, beautiful 4000 tint? I know which one I'm going to be carrying. All right, guys, hope that's helpful. Go to the website. Go ahead, and you can get this right now for 64 bucks. And I don't have it yet, but I pre-ordered the new 18650 light that has a 719A in it. So we'll see how that fares when it comes in. All right, guys, thanks for listening, and I'll see you in the next video.